Hey guys, I'm Dan and this is That Cool Story Bro, brought to you by Natural Lighting. So like I said in previous videos, I'm studying right now in Prague, which is the capital of the Czech Republic, for those of you who don't have a map. And that means that I'm forced into contact with a lot of people that I've ended up liking, but a lot of people I don't like as well. And this guy named Alex is one of those people. I don't like Alex for a number of reasons, but just like with my roommate, who I mentioned in the video before, it all started with one event that kind of set it off. One night, a bunch of us went out to a very traditional Czech restaurant on the outskirts of Prague, and it was really fun and all that, beside the point. We were waiting in the metro for the train to come uh, while we were getting going back home, and we were just talking about things, and for one reason or another, Alex brought up the fact that he was an Orthodox Jew, and that if he tried to marry outside of his religion, then his parents would kill him. So me, being the kind of no bullshit guy that I am, I asked him, isn't that kind of close-minded and racist to be forced to marry within your own religion? And his response, which was, I gotta say, very well formulated, and it was, it was made me think a lot about the kind of person that he is, he responded by saying, yeah, but that's my religion, so f*** you. And then he just walked away. I'll put it out there right now that I'm an atheist, but more importantly than that, I'm a skeptical, evidence-based thinker. Basically, that means before I believe something to be true, I make sure it's not something completely stupid, or at least unfounded. So that's problem number one that I have with Alex. Alex doesn't even question the immorality of his beliefs. He openly acknowledges supporting and following an ethnocentric belief system that was just handed down to him by his mommy and daddy, and he doesn't, he doesn't think about it, he just, it's just what they say and it's what he does. And brother, homie don't play that game. What is a life lived if you don't challenge your beliefs, especially when those beliefs are because of a 2000 year old book that was written by people vastly different and vastly stupider than we are now. So that's my first problem, Alex is a sheep. The second problem that I have with him is the actual belief that he holds. According to Alex, Orthodox Jews are only allowed to marry other Jews. Not marrying another Jew means being shunned and ostracized by your family, your friends, and your religious community. Some people, let's call them idiots, believe that that kind of behavior is something that can be justified by calling it tradition. It's not a tradition. It's a belief about racial and religious superiority. There's no way in hell that anybody should be able to get away with this and not be called out for being racist. To prove my point, let's play a little word substitution game just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's an example. Joe, fictional guy I made up, is Jewish. He must marry a Jewish girl, or his family and community will look down upon him for marrying outside his religion. First example. Tradition, right? Second example. Greg is white. He must marry a white girl, or his family and community will look down upon him for marrying outside his race. I ask you to tell me the difference between those two, but there's none. Ethnocentrism is ethnocentrism, no matter how you try to disguise it. And I want to clarify that I take up this issue with not just the Jewish people. Some Christians don't want their children to marry outside of their denomination. Muslim girls have been killed for even dating outside of their religion. Many Indian friends that I have say, for some reason, with a smile, that they're only allowed to date or marry people that come from not just their own religion, and not just their own country, but their own province. How else can I say it except that it's complete bullshit? Some other Jews have told me that this whole policy about Jews having to marry other Jews has been put in place because of their constant persecution has made their numbers very low, and so they need to repopulate if they don't want their race to go extinct. Well, that's fine, but you shouldn't be forced into a marriage with someone of your race or religion under penalty of ostracism. The same goes for people who actually want to marry within their race. If you want to marry someone from your same race, religion, or ethnicity, that's fine. You have that choice and you're making that choice. It's not racist for me to want to marry a white girl just because I'd prefer to. But if my family forces me into that, that's unfair and uncool. So that's why I don't like Alex. Please people, think for yourself and don't be ethnocentric douchebags. I'm Dan and what you just watched was that cool story bro.